quick view of my Venus flytraps. This is my, I guess the seed grown flytraps right here. As you can see one of the heads is turning black already. I guess it overfed or something, I'm not sure. It has a fly in it. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I got questions, maybe you guys can help me answer them. Um, this is my maroon monster. I have my plants growing indoor and outdoor. This is the little lamp I use to feed him light, I guess, photosynthesis, right? So these are my fly traps. I have five different pots, four of them Venus fly traps, one Jorosa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. There you go. They're pretty cool because um, they've actually caught like a small moth, I guess. And then they have their glue drops growing already. I'm not sure I can zoom it in. Here are my Venus flytraps, baby ones, I guess. And then the ones I ordered off of Steve came in great condition. I'm not sure if I did a perfect job repotting them, but they're still alive, so I guess that's a good sign, right? They they were shipped in about a week ago. The ones I've owned previously are um, um, these right here. I got a Home Depot. I've had them for over a month, but they're so small and boring. The ones I got from Steve are ten times bigger than those small ones, which I like. And then the mon the maroon monster actually caught a fly by itself. It ha it already opened, as you can see the carcass of the fly. So um. I'm not sure if I did a great job repotting. Maybe if I zoom in, you guys can kind of tell me if I'm doing it right or wrong. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I'm a beginner, so if, I, if you guys see anything wrong on this, I, I am using what is it? Um, chromatic flower pots. I heard that clay pots are bad. If they are, tell me. I would go to back to the store and get some plastic ones like these. This one right here is plastic. And um, I don't have it, one of those great terrariums, but as of right now, for my three small plants here, I put them in this small bog looking area thing that I'm trying to make. It even has its own little lamp here. So that, that's pretty cool. And then I have my Mimosa Pudica plant, Tickle Me plant. <laughs> it's pretty fun. You just touch it and then it kind of curls up and hides. I'm growing one in this ghetto jar thing I found outside. It's fun. So, yeah, this is my little lamp. I got a 20, wa 20 watts light bulb in here. Um, it has a white background to help illuminate the room. So that's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I don't know. You guys tell me, is it healthy or wh what's up, man? What do you guys think? Rem remember, I've only been growing these for about a month. These sh were shipped in last week. They're still alive. That's a good sign. I hope this one was already turning black, so I know that's not my fault. I guess it ate a big fly and then it didn't have time to digest since it was shipped over. It had to use its energy to survive or something. Yeah, that's all. I'm sorry I'm wasting your time. And I'm probably moving the cameras too fast so you guys can't see the fly traps. I'm gonna upload some pictures, so yeah. Too bad you guys can't see the and then glue drops. That would've been amazing, right? Here's my little baby maroon monster going on the side. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. And then, yeah, the soil it's added a lot because when you water it, it seems to sink in for some reason. It becomes quicksand. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess my friend here, Sprawl, bugging me on, let's see, flytrapcare.com. Ooh, what do you know? There's actually two people in the chat room. That's amazing. That's that's rare. That's me right there, Squat Devil 7 j I'm a beginner with flytraps. <laughs> that's all, guys. <laughs>